The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of BoatTest.com and its test captain. Captain Bob Smith, Director of Testing. Captain Rob Smith with BoatTest.com. Let's take a few minutes and take a look at Evinrude's 225HO. Now this is a two-stroke engine, but as you'll see, it's got the efficiency and the power that you're looking for. Having driven many four-strokes lately, I forgot what a thrill it is to have the feel of torque from the moment you pour on the power and still feel it when you add the last. Evinrude eliminated many of the components destined to fail in typical operations, such as timing belts and cylinder head valves. You don't add or mix oil, and there's no oil filter to change. There isn't even a break-in period. Fewer parts mean less friction, more power, and less repair. Rather than succumb to the four-stroke technology that's heavier, producing power on every other stroke, Evinrude's torque is raging at the first stroke of the throttle right up through the last, delivering more torque through the RPM range. Evinrude stood its ground in the two-stroke market, and rather than inventing new technology, they have made significant improvements on existing technology. They created the first engine to receive the environmental agency rating of three stars. In my recent test with Manitou pontoons, I had plenty of torque out of the hole to confidently tow a skier or a wakeboarder and deliver the thrill. There was no porpoising at plane, and in high-speed turns, the engine and hull combination kept me solidly glued to the water in complete control like nothing I've experienced before. Speaking of power, every boater has visions of adding lots of electronics on board, and the E-Tech is prepared for it with a dual-output 133-amp alternator with 50 amps dedicated to driving the electronics and accessories. Other outboards share the total power from their 45 to 70 amp alternators to drive the engine and electronics. As a fisherman or when I'm out with the family, this means longer days and fewer stops for fuel. When you're in for maintenance, you're out of the water. With Evinrude, you're in for a visit once every three years or 300 hours of service. As far as what they do, well, that's a short list. Plugs, lube, water pump, and thermostat. Imagine the savings. All you have to worry about is cleaning the fuel water separator, lower unit lube, changing plugs, water pump and impeller, and thermostat every three years. Popping the cap, you can readily see there's very little for you to get to or have to hassle with. On the port side, you have a fuel water separator and starter. On the top at the back is the water cooling system hoses. Down the side are the cylinder heads, plugs, and fuel rail, NMEA 2000 compliant test connection, and you can also see the ECM box. On the front is the air box and there's no filter to hassle with. Removing a cover on the side, you can see the dual output gear driven alternator. Having tested many four strokes and two stroke engines in the past, I can say without hesitation that the E-Tech line and the 225HO in particular are definitely clean efficient two stroke engines that not only meet the demand for clean yet powerful outboards, but exceed the four stroke benefits on many fronts. While other outboards focused engineers on clean four-stroke technology and more weight and less torque, Evinrude focused on cleaning up the two-stroke without the weight, keeping the power. I found the 225HO to be equally as quiet as many four-strokes I tested. You don't have to go to four-stroke to save the environment. And according to Evinrude's independent test, the E-Tech has the efficiency, power, and is cleaner than our four-stroke competition. So the Evinrude 225HO gets a thumbs up from me. She's a clean, efficient machine. She has a lot of strength and power, even at top end when you throw the throttles to it, you still get a little punch in power. She's easy to operate, very easy to maintain, three years, no maintenance required from you. Take a look at the 225HO from Evinrude. I think you'll be impressed too.